uh, welcome back um, uh, building on top of my previous aggregation functions video so um, there actually came a comment so I, I thought I should uh, add that in my uh, blog as well so you can also use a set analysis function in aggregation show sure, this is a very good function so this builds even on top of your backend set um, aggregation function there you cannot apply you know set analysis for example if your data is in different table and your aggregation group by you want to do is in different table so you cannot do that you either have to join it so uh, in here we can do that so let's me show how we can do that so for example here I have this aggregation function and after just an aggregation function just like we do set analysis I can write set analysis in here uh, let's see 2012 and now I have this information in here and it is showing me that some of them are not covered so and other thing we can do apply set analysis in here as well but you know it's gonna give us a different result let's see if I apply set analysis inside my actual function so let's see how it behaves I'm not going to see any mm. yeah I have this 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 okay yeah right. so in this case it's behaving same uh, sorry <laughs> yeah but uh, it might behave a bit differently so yes you can this aggregation function essentially is also can be used as uh, it can also have set analysis thank you very much for watching Bye-bye.